What's up, guys? Uh, so some students asked me how to set up the vocoder. Uh, so let's see it step by step. First, you need one audio track. This is going to be the modulator. Uh, you can do it with vocals, with drums, with anything that is uh, rich in rhythmic material. Nice. Next, uh, we're going to put the vocoder on it. So you're going to put the vocoder on the vocals. Uh, and there's a lot of things you can do with the vocoder, but we're going to see how to set it up to make that robotic sound. So, uh, first thing, you also need a carrier, and the carrier is going to be external. So I need um, a synthesizer. I'm going to create a new MIDI track. I'm going to load an instrument, like analog. Nice. And I'm going to mute the analog, because we don't want to hear it. There's no reason to hear it. I'm going to mute it. We're just going to use it as the carrier. For the modulator. Nice. Next, in the vocoder, I'm going to set carrier external and audio from that new MIDI track that we added with the analog. Nice. Now, if you play it, the vocals, you're not going to hear anything. You are going to see it right here in the graph, but you're not going to hear anything. You need to arm your synthesizer, and now you can play any type of note or chords. And you can also do it, of course, with drums. Let's launch the drums. Nice. And then you can play around with all the knobs here. Uh, we'll release the cheat sheet uh, with all the knobs details. But uh, just quickly, this is our uh, filters. We got a bunch of filters here, all bandpass. Uh, and the format is very useful. If you take it down, it will make it sound more male. If you take it up, it's going to make it sound more female. Nice. So this is how you set up the vocoder to make a robotic voice. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up.